I'm Ethel Ann Vare. I'm the executive editor of Rock. Most music magazines talk down to their readers. They say, oh, well, they're just kids, you know. We better not use any words of more than two syllables. Well, we say, OK, they may be young, but they're not dumb. Uh, at the same time, we realize that unlike most music magazines, most of our readers are female. And that's fun for me also because it gives me a chance to fight sexism in publishing, you know, which is nice. Rock and roll life. I mean, so many moms with teenage daughters would be terrified of seeing them hanging around somebody like Scott. Um, <laughs> is, is, that a is that ever a conflict for you? Scott, you know, why don't you guys with earrings and mohawks? And it's in the contract. She's very volatile. When I saw Hole perform at the Palace not long ago, she announced on stage that she was drunk. She certainly acted drunk. She harassed the audience. She. Um, she made rather a spectacle of herself. Here's a simple little test. Who invented the cotton gin? If your answer is Eli Whitney, you may only be half right. You'll find the other half in Mothers of Invention, a new book co-authored by Ethel Ann Vera, who joins us this morning. All right, if I want the other 50% of the answer, who ought I be filling in the blank? Well, Catherine Littlefield Green, who was actually from Georgia and lived on a cotton plantation, Whitney, was from Massachusetts and had probably never seen a bowl of cotton until Catherine hired him as the tutor for her children. The speaker, Ethley Ann Vare, author of the book, The Mothers of Invention, From the Bra to the Bomb, Forgotten Women and Their Unforgettable Ideas. Vare gave an entertaining overview of some of the most prominent and perhaps least talked about figures of history. Women have slipped between the cracks of history because the conceit is that women don't invent and therefore any inconvenient facts to the contrary just kind of get lost. And every generation we have to bring out one more time, one more time, that no women have always invented. <laughs> and to talk about rock and roll this morning, Ethel Ann Vare joins us with this summer's big musical comebacks. Ethel, I read your stuff, I read your concert reviews and variety, and I've seen a lot of the stuff that, that you have done. A lot of people on the road this summer are names that are from the, the 70s and the 60s? The, not only that, the 80s. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we know that the 70s have made a comeback. All you have to do is look at all the bell bottoms and platform soles to know that the 70s are back. But we already ran out of 70s. You know what the big concert's going to be this summer here in L.A.? Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Hi, this is Ethley on Rock On for a Friday afternoon on KVMR in Nevada City, non-commercial radio, 89 and a half. Got a whole bunch of brand new rock and roll to share with you this afternoon, so hang on, fasten your seatbelts. Here's the boom sound <laughs> rap. Ethley Ann Vare has been on the air in cities where most disc jockeys can only dream of going, including Los Angeles and San Francisco. She writes a syndicated column reviewing new record releases that appears in hundreds of newspapers across the country. Yet, it is at KBMR where she feels most comfortable with her music. And now with the music dish, the MTV Movie Awards was a fun bash, as always. I won't tell you who won since the show actually airs tonight, but don't waste a lot of money betting against Sandra Bullock. Anyway, Ice-T says he's putting his acting career on hold for a while and concentrating on music. There'll be a new solo album from him out soon, as well as a record from his controversial band Body Count, sure to shoot to the top of Bob Dole's top ten list. Ice-T's castmate, Henry Rollins, the punk rocker turned poet turned actor, is the subject of my favorite internet rumor of the week. Cyberspace says that Henry is involved in a hot new romance with, wait for it, Madonna. <laughs> Don't you love it? It has to be true. No one could make that up. For Syndicated International Network, this is Ethelie Ann Vare. Please welcome the author of this book, Mothers of Invention, Ethel Ann Vare. Ethel? The chocolate chip cookie was invented by Ruth Wakefield, who was the uh, co-owner and cook at the Toll House Inn, which was an old toll house in uh, New England. And she was famous for her chocolate butter drop cookies. The internet right now is absolutely abuzz with rumors that Kurt's suicide may not be exactly as it appeared. Apparently, a private detective who had been f hired to locate Kurt when he first disappeared now believes that foul play may have been involved in the shotgun death, that that greenhouse door may not have been locked from the inside, but may have been pulled to from the outside, that that, that note we all heard 
may not have been a suicide note, but may have been a, a farewell letter to the music industry from, from someone who just wanted to disappear. Well, the investigation has not been reopened, but email is flying back and forth from coast to coast, filled with speculation and innuendo. That's my job, speculation and innuendo. I'm Ethel Ann Vare, reporting the news from Syndicated International Network. And this is Ethley, your disc jockey. I'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves and be good to those who love you. See you soon. Bye.